Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a food video for you. So I'm going to be showing you how I make my favorite green juice using a blender. So you don't need to have a juicer to make juice. Really, really simple. And what I like to do is kind of throw in any vegetables or fruit that I have in my fridge that might need to be used up. Um, and I try to make a fresh batch a couple times a week. So it's best when you're making juice because you don't want the nutrients to oxidize and then kind of go rancid um, and lose their nutritional content. It's best to make it only a day or two worth at a time and that way you can just kind of make it more fresh. So I usually, like I have a glass pitcher, I will make enough for my family for maybe two days, but if I was a single person, I probably would make enough for three days. It takes two seconds to make, so it's not like this whole huge process. So you don't need to worry about making a big batch. You can make it daily or, or every other day and it's still really good. So I wanna show you what I'm doing. This is my favorite recipe, but you can throw anything you want in here and kind of make it your own. And so what I like to do this for is drink this on an empty stomach right in the morning to rehydrate. Um, it gives you so many minerals that can help cleanse the body, but you're also getting tons of antioxidants and vitamins as well. So lots of micronutrients, which can help detoxify the liver, cleanse out the colon, alkalize the body, clean out the blood, the gallbladder. So really, really nutritious. This is definitely a good way to go. And um, what I suggest personally is, you know, you don't need to invest in, a, in a, a juicer. You can use your blender. And if you want the fiber, then you can not strain it. So I'll show you that whole process. I personally like the juice, so I do strain it. Um, because I do have smoothies daily to get fiber in, I don't need the fiber from this. Disclaimer though, right before I show you what you'll need, if you have IBS or Crohn's or, or SIBO, any kind of bloating or digestive condition, you don't want to be making raw juice. There are too many enzymes that can cause you to bloat and it's also a cold food. So if you are already damp and cold, you want warming food, so this wouldn't be ideal for you. Um, the kids are downstairs, so there's some noise, I apologize, but this is for someone who just needs to alkalize, detoxify. For example, if you have psoriasis or eczema and you need a flood of antioxidants and nutrients, then this is a good idea for you. So just be careful with digestive issues. If you have, again, anything cold in the body or if you need to heat up the body, you don't wanna be doing this too frequently. So what you will need, you will need a blender. This blender I've had for about six years, so it looks dirty, it's not. It's just stained from turmeric and everything over the years, but I have a blender here. You will also need some kind of glass or pitcher to pour the uh, juice into, so I have a glass pitcher here. You will need a nut milk bag or a fine mesh sieve. So I have a nut milk bag. I got this organic cotton bag off of Amazon. Uh, very, very affordable and I use it for everything. You can make nut milks with it, you can you know, make your juices with it, but you can also use a fine mesh sieve or again, if you want the fiber, you don't need to strain at all. And then you will need your produce. So today I will be using some organic celery. I also have organic apple that I've just cut up right before the video. I have um, organic lemon as well. And then I have a bunch of organic carrot that I've cut up. I did not peel it, you don't need to because you're straining it, so save yourself a step. It's very rough, you need to just break them up small enough to fit into the blender, but you don't need to go crazy with anything. I also will be adding in some organic baby spinach. Normally I like to use Swiss chard, however I just ran out. So baby spinach will work well for me. However, if you have an oxalate issue, just skip the spinach. Okay, so what I do is I just take my blender, and I'm gonna tip the lens so you guys can see what I'm doing, but just taking the blender here. And you know what, I actually forgot to grab some water. So I'm gonna go grab some water. I'm not editing this video, so this is real time. So just stick with me for a second. Okay, sorry about that. And look, there's my laundry basket but I just got some water from my Berkey. I should have done this before the video, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna pour that into my blender. The more water you put, the more diluted the juice will be. So I like it pretty strong, so you get more nutri nutrients. Um, so I have about one and a half cups of water. And so I'm gonna tip this a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Okay, so just move this up here. So I just take my celery and I'm cutting it in half which is not easy to do. I'm taking up all of my carrots. I have a bunch 
and I'm throwing it in the blender. So some carrot, and then I'm taking all of my apple pieces. Those are going in too. And now I have two halves of lemon. I love adding lemon. It makes it sour and tangy and it really, really adds flavor. So you don't have to do that, but I'm adding some lemon. And don't worry if the seeds go in because you're gonna be blending it and straining it. Just try to get as much of the pulp, it's really nutritious. All right, so there's half a lemon. I'm going to add the other half. And like I said, I'm not editing this, whoop, this video. It's completely real time. So it's kind of like a live, but not. Okay. So now I just need to find my lid right here. I'm going to be blending this on real time too. So it's going to be loud and I'm not going to be able to crop it, but... Stick with me and I'll try to do this as quick as I can and then we'll strain it. chunks are blended up and if they are then we'll strain it okay it maybe needs like a couple more seconds so I'm just gonna do a few more all right so I'm going to angle you guys up here again okay so it's all blended really nicely perfect it's a beautiful orange color so you're gonna get lots of uh, beta carotene so I take my nut milk bag and I'm going to put it here let's tip you guys down again I'm gonna just put it into my pitcher and I kind of fold it over that way I can strain nicely and uh, move that out of the way so I'm gonna just pour it into the glass pitcher slowly And again, like this right now for me, what I'm making is gonna be enough for me and for my kids to each have a shot worth. But if you want to make a bigger batch, you can do that. Or um, you can add more water and then it's just more diluted. So you can see what it's looking like here. I'm going to just lift up the bag and then squeeze. You wanna get everything out, all that goodness out and just leave the pulp behind. roll up my sleeve here so it still made a good amount there's about probably about three cups worth here because there's a lot of juice in the vegetables and the fruit and you also like a lot of times I'll do this with just veggies like I won't put fruit in it if I'm you know on a candida diet or if I just don't want add added sugars I just put the apple just for a little bit of flavor for the kids. All right, so what you're going to be left with, and yes, it will stay in your bag, is pulp. We throw it into our compost. You guys can um, leave it in if you wanna consume it or you can compost it. So I'll just put that on the side and grab a glass. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, so I have um, just a glass here and Look at that color, like that's just beautiful. So I'm gonna pour some in. I'll have some more later, but I just wanna do a taste test. Oh my gosh, it tastes really good. The lemon, honestly, like that's sour. It's so good. So good, the carrots and the apple sweeten it enough. Um, the one thing I actually forgot to add, <laughs> spinach, that was my whole goal. I was wondering why it was so orange. I was like, okay, but I just realized because it was in the back, I actually forgot to add it. So I'll make another batch tomorrow. I'll add the spinach. 
um, but you're getting carrot, celery, apple, lemon. It's just super cleansing, nutritious, lots of goods in it. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Like I said, you can do this with any vegetables or fruit. All you need is a blender. You do not need to invest in a juicer and a nut milk bag. And mine's again, organic cotton nut milk bag from Amazon. I will try to link it down below if I can remember, but super simple recipe and super simple yum juice. Sometimes I'll do just celery. Sometimes I'll do celery lemon. Otherwise, other times it'll be like Swiss chard and lemon. So I kind of like to go crazy with all that stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure you're following me on Instagram for more amazing recipes like this and lots of sugar-free candida friendly recipes. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.